interesting. Unfortunately, it's from Polygon. Not my favorite site at all, but I thought the article was very interesting enough and kind of reflected my uh, my own thoughts on it. But before we get into it, if you hit that subscribe button for me. Small lag for you. Big deal for me. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. Hasbro squeezing the magic gathering players for too much money bank warns. Stock plummets, this analyst says, Hasbro is killing its golden goose. A Bank of America analysis says Hasbro is destroying the long-term value of magic by overprinting cards. Yeah, that that's, that's a thing. The dire warning was accompanied by a double downgrade of Hasbro stock from buy to underperform and its valuation fell more than 5% before trading began on Monday. Hasbro's overproducing magic cards, which has propped up recent or has propped up recent results, wrote uh, Jason Haas, a research analyst. Card prices are falling, game stores are losing money, collectors are liquidating, and large retailers are cutting orders. Uh that's pretty interesting and Honestly, I'm not surprised by it. The amount of sets that just, oh, they're just like vomiting them out. And I guess as long as people are still going to buy them, I guess it won't stop. You know, seems like they're kind of, I don't know, it doesn't, to me it doesn't seem like they're trying to reach a new audience or bring in new players. It just seems like they're trying to just, you know, squeeze all the money out of people that you know still play magic kind of like you know mobile games and stuff they just focus on you know the whales and they don't really care about trying to get new people but let's read on hasbro has recently touted the performance of its wizards of the coast business unit which includes magic as well as dungeons and dragons tabletop role-playing game Haas notes that Magic alone accounts for some 15% of Hasbro's annual revenue and some 35% of its annual rev earnings. Sales of the collectible card game nearly doubled over the pandemic, and Hasbro has urged that growth onward with additional new releases throughout 2021 and 2022. Yeah, the uh, pandemic has, you know... Obviously, it was going to boost sales of certain things like this, but to kind of believe that you can maintain that same sale, that's just a little ludicrous, but I guess that's to be expected from Wizards. But Haas believes that the end of that growth curve is looming on the horizon, in part because Magic has grown primarily by extracting more revenue from each player rather than growing its player base. Yeah, that's pretty much it when I was thinking in this little graph here it shows the dates and the different kind of sets that have been coming out and as you see towards the end over here you know 2020 to 2022 it's just phenomenally higher it's ridiculously high <laughs> try to squeeze that money out but you know I guess I can't be too surprised but jeez that's like double. Oh, ugly, ugly, ugly. For individual retailers, the effect can be seen on store shelves. The increased supply has crashed secondary market prices, which has caused distributors, collectors, and loyal game stores to lose money on Magic. As a result, we expect they'll order less product in future releases. I mean, that'd be kind of par for course. I mean, why spend a whole ton of money on some shit you're not going to be able to get rid of anyway. But, Haas also called out the Magic 30th Anniversary set as particularly egregious. These thousand dollar bundles? God damn. Include just four packs of cards which are normally priced at five bucks each. Jesus. What kind of morons pay for that shit? Okay. But these special collector's packs include reprints of highly sought after cards such as Black Lotus. Well, see that's the thing I don't get. If you just if you had more of the you know, sought after card, wouldn't that eventually just lower the price and make it not really, I don't know, whatever. While technically unplayable in some of the game's most competitive formats, this reintroduction still breaks a vow made to fans decades ago. Not only is the price excessively high, 
but the set also includes reserved list cards which Hasbro has promised to never reprint. This has created panic among collectors and we're seeing collections being liquidated now that the scarcity value of magic is in question. Yeah, see, that's what I was kind of thinking too. For all those guys that, you know, do have those crazy cards like Black Lotus, you know, what the hell is the point if they're just going to keep reprinting the damn card? It kind of seems stupid. You know, why collect? It's like, okay, I got these valuable cards, but then Hasbro's like, haha, we're going to reprint them because money. Fucking stupid, man. Haas concludes that Hasbro needs to cut its print runs going forward in order to allow more of its older product to sell through. Local game stores already appear to be selling Magic's latest expansion set, The Brothers War, at a loss on TCG Player. Brothers War draft boxes are available now uh, for 107 and set booster boxes for 112, below a break-even price of 115 and 120, per, you know, their math. But Han said that this kind of overproduction could ultimately lead to a loss of dedicated fans. While Magic has a dedicated and sticky fan base, we're concerned that continued overproduction of cards declining and declining secondary market values could push players and collectors into other trading card games such as Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Flesh and Blood. To be honest with you, I'm kind of interested in the Flesh and Blood. But, you know, that's just me. And that kind of makes sense, too. I mean, if Magic's just going to devalue everything as a collector's game, what the hell is the point of collecting if it's all just going to be reprinted and you can't do shit about it? So it doesn't really seem like there's much collection. But this this graph here, just it blows my mind. You know, I never really thought to kind of look at it like this. But, dude, look at, look at that jump. That is insane. You got to be kidding me. What were they thinking besides money? Money, money, money. But... God damn. If you guys have been keeping up on the box sets and the collection too, let me know how that's been going because, jeez, I'm so glad that I've been out of the physical collection for a long time because that would kind of piss me off, some of the, you know, rare stuff that I sold off long ago. But if I kept it and then all of a sudden they're like, hey, we're going to reprint it so the value of your card is going to drop by like 50%, I'd be kind of pissed off to be honest, so... If this has affected you, let me know. I'm very curious. I mean, I'd kind of like to talk about this in the comments section with you guys. So let me know your thoughts on it. Because this is, I don't know, interesting to see how it's going to go. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.